Bridgeport Transit issuing a public apology today after it says a rider with Down syndrome was dropped off at the wrong house in the wrong city. Frank Reccia has this exclusive story. He just looks forward to being around people. He loves everyone. Right, Boo Boo? Step into the home of 51-year-old Gloria Roman and 44-year-old Noel Roman, who has Down syndrome, and you'll see evidence everywhere of Gloria's love for her little brother. Noel means the world to us. He's the baby of nine um, siblings. So the family says they were very upset about something that happened on Thursday, July 28. They say Greater Bridgeport Transit, which has been transporting Noel for more than a decade under their door-to-door -door service for riders with disabilities, picked him up from his job at Goodwill in Black Rock, and instead of dropping him off at his house in Bridgeport, left him at the wrong address, at somebody else's house in Stratford. Oh, we were devastated. Here it was 5.30 in the, after, in the evening and Noel has not arrived when he usually arrives here from 2 to 3.30. To make matters worse, the family says it was an especially hot day. We don't want this to happen to another individual. Noel is mentally challenged, Down syndrome. He does not have any um, traveling skills. We're just not happy. We're not happy. Their anger about it is understandable. Doug Holcomb is the head of GBT and issued a formal apology today to the family, saying he was not aware of the mistake until News 12 Connecticut brought it to his attention. You know, my apologies for that and uh, very sorry that it happened. It's regrettable. Holcomb telling us there was a cancellation that day and the driver simply misread the manifest. He says that driver is now being retrained and GBT is taking other steps, including soon acquiring new vehicle tracking technology to help make sure what Noel went through that day will never happen again to anybody else. We were fortunate. Noel's sister says luckily the address where GBT left him was the home of one of his goodwill co-workers who also has special needs. She says that co-worker and his dad eventually showed up and drove Noel home, delivering him safe and sound to his family. I'm angry and I'm happy at the same time. Happy because he came home safe. A close call that GBT says it's working very hard to learn from and never repeat. And uh, we hope that in time we can earn their trust back again and we'll be able to continue to provide the service. Mm -hmm. Give me a hug. In Bridgeport, Frank Reccia, News 12, Connecticut. GBT adding, we do more than 300 door-to-door -door rides every day under this service, and a mistake like this one is extremely rare.